Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at Windows 11 Lite. This is for better performance and low utilization. This Windows 11 Lite version is unofficial. It's not been released by Microsoft. It was created by myself. And you need to download the original version from Microsoft, and then you can remove all of the components that you don't want in your build. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to build a Windows 11 Lite. If you want to see that video, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make that video for you. This is just to show you what I used to create Windows 11 Lite. I used the MSMG toolkit and I removed all of the stuff that I wanted to remove for my version of Windows 11 Lite. Now, if you're thinking about downloading a Windows 11 Lite version from the internet, then don't because you don't know exactly what's inside that version of Windows 11. There's always a risk that someone could bury in a backdoor or some sort of malware or rootkit inside that uh, Windows 11 ISO because you're actually opening it up. So you really don't want to do that. You want to create your own versions of Windows 11 Lite if you're looking to actually make your own version of Windows 11 Lite. That's my best uh, advice I can give you there. Will I be sharing this version of Windows 11 Lite? No, I won't. I won't be doing that. You will need to create your own version. I'll be happy to show you how to create your own. But once you've made your own Windows 11 Lite versions, you should see a massive difference in performance and also size. You can see here 2.68 gigabytes is the Lite version compared to 5.81 gigabytes of the original version of Windows 11. So it's already had quite a lot of stuff removed from that version of Windows 11. It's completely functional. It works. There's no broken parts in it. I did very carefully remove all of the parts that would not break Windows 11. So this is an absolute super fast version of Windows 11. As you can see here, this is on a virtual machine and uh, the utilization is virtually zero. And we've got 94 processes here uh, running on the system. So it boots up the processes because I've just started the virtual machine up. You're going to get a few processes and then it will settle down and go back to around about 95 processes once it uh, boots up. Because we're on a virtual machine here, you can see basically this is the sort of results you can expect on a VM uh, like this. So we are now at 95. And again, we can see that's dropped right back. Now, this compared to a normal installation of Windows 11 on a normal system, this is going to be a lot higher, probably 170, 160 around that sort of mark, maybe more. And utilization will creep up as well, including the memory. Uh, the memory is a lot lower on this uh, build that I've created here. So we're having a lot less memory usage on here. But it's mainly the CPU usage, which really does cripple uh, sort of laptops and older uh, hardware. So if you're looking for a super lightweight version, then you can create your own and you can end up with a really good set of figures like these uh, for your initial Windows 11 build. So who is Windows 11 Lite going to be for? It's going to be for people like gamers and people running older hardware that want to use Windows 11, but don't want all of, all of the bloatware in there and all of the resource hungry uh, features that you, they don't need, i.e. widgets and uh, other types of things like that. So if you don't want all those uh, built into your build, then you can remove them. I could have removed a few more little things on here, but I've tried to keep it so it doesn't break and I want it working perfectly fine. You can see there's hardly any apps. I have added Google Chrome because I've removed Edge. And uh, again, all of the uh, settings inside here, all of the privacy settings have been uh, removed some of these uh, privacy settings have been removed applications again there's hardly any applications in here as you can see there is vmware tools because we are on a vm and i have installed those and there is also uh, some other bits that i've installed but you really wouldn't have any applications hardly in here because i've removed them all and again come to all your privacy settings all these have been turned off or they've been removed when i can remove them i've removed them without breaking the operating system so it should function really well for a lot of older systems as well that are super lightweight. Uh, the Windows updates does work, and I've turned off feature updates and just got it for security updates. So you will still receive uh, Windows security updates, but feature updates has been uh, disabled and turned off. Now, I've run uh, the uh, SFC scan now, uh, verify only, and there's no integrity on the system as well, which means there's no corruption or anything like that with the operating system. It's working perfectly fine. 
Now, because this is not an official release from Microsoft, uh, I'm hoping that one day Microsoft will release a light version of Windows 11, especially for people that just want to remove all of the bloat and they just want to use uh, Windows 11 for what it is. A lot of the features have been turned off here, like all of the fancy GUI and stuff like that. That has been disabled because obviously that eats resources and we don't want that running in the background, especially when we're gaming and things like that. It is on a VMware, so you will need to understand that once this gets onto a main system, it is going to be a lot better than what it is on a virtual machine. Now, if you want to see this installed on a proper computer, then let me know in the comment section below. Also, I'd love to see this uh, running on an old system to see the sort of resources that's being used on that old computer. I can already see in this virtual machine that I've got it installed on at the moment that it's super fast and super snappy. There is no sort of lag or issues like that. And this is on an actual virtual machine. So I can imagine what it will be like on a real computer. Uh, you know, the, the whole purpose of this is to remove any sort of any sort of unwanted bloat and programs and uh, parts of Windows that you don't use, like widgets and things like that. I've removed all those features from here. So let me show you what my Windows 11 system looks like here. And this is a real computer here. I'll just show you the resources here so you can see under the performance tab. And you can see already on this area here, we can see processes, 167 processes compared to 94 uh, processes on the light version. So there's a massive difference. And again, when I start using the system with this uh, sort of PC, it doesn't really sort of cause any major problems because it's quite a powerful PC. But on an older system, that would really eat into uh, the actual resources of that uh, computer. You can see here the memory on this main system here. There's a proper system where the memory is being used. Remember, I do have a VMware open here. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. That is the unofficial Windows 11 Lite version, which I created myself. I won't be leaving the download link for it, so don't bother asking because it is an unofficial version. And I just don't want to get into the complications of sharing uh, this sort of media online. It's just not worth the hassle. But other than that, if you want to create your own one, I'll make that video showing you how to create your own. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do once you know what you're doing. I'll make step-by-step -step guides so you can see it. And it's very simple and easy to follow along. And you'll be able to make your own Windows 11 Lite versions. If you want to see that, then let me know in the comment section below. But that said, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out to Geo Sam, Wilkes21 and Albert Houston for joining my tier three uh, YouTube members group. I really do appreciate that. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.